Ladies and gentlemen, more Persona cards are dropping into 2K24, and wow, does this game need it. I need it! Since a week after launch, 2K24, and especially my faction, both taken a nosedive in popularity, and it's hardly surprising, none of the oddity-based Persona cards that players were so excited for because they worked across the game and weren't locked to my faction have been released. And 2K are dropping sets like this group of WrestleMania 40 cards. I mean, the people want content and you're giving them stuff they can get for free. And the less we say about the player market, the better. Shush. The prices on that did not go down well. But we have more Persona cards confirmed and we know when they're dropping. None of the oddity stuff and 2K delaying when they release it. No, this stuff is dated and you're going to be excited, I think. Especially if you love the elite Mattel figures of John Cena and Cody Rhodes with bruised boob. Because they're getting company with that already confirmed elite Ichiban Hulk Hogan figure officially releasing tomorrow, the 4th. And it seems releasing this summer an additional four legends. One of which has never featured in a 2K or THQ main series game. Hogan has been revealed as a Target exclusive, similar to how last year's John Cena was obtained with Walmart, as this shop tag has been spotted with a QR code. Now, it's worth mentioning that the Redemption website, which I've linked in the comments down below, isn't live until the 4th of April. Upon purchase of certain legend figures in a Target store, you can't do this online, you will need to take a picture of the receipt and the item you purchased and upload it to that special website, alongside an email so they can contact you. There's only five legend figures that you can purchase to obtain this code, and it's only one per person. So if you're looking to purchase more than one, you need to do them individually. Don't do them one, two, three at one point and get one receipt. You're going to need to do multiple transactions and have additional emails. Once you've uploaded the proof with the receipt, they'll use that email you entered to contact you back with an individual locker code to enter into 2K24 for the Hulk Hogan Persona Ichiban My Faction card. Once you've got that and opened the pack, the Ichiban Hulkster will unlock in all the other game modes, universe mode, exhibition, regular gameplay, my GM, everything, which is pretty cool. Now there's a lot of people People who cannot get access to this and I totally understand that it's frustrating. So I'm doing some of you guys a solid. If you're subscribed, you hit that like button and comment down below who you'd like to see as an action figure, then I'll be giving away a Hulk Hogan Ichiban code to one lucky person. We might even extend it to two or three people, depending on how popular it is. So again, that's subscribing to make sure you don't miss any 2K content going forward. Hit a like on the video and comments with which WWE superstar you would want to see as an action figure next. For the love of God, don't include Vince. Thank you. But also, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this exclusive content stuff, these additional superstars that are being added after the game's release. Because a lot of people are, and I would say quite rightly, a bit disappointed because they've purchased the Deluxe Edition or the 40 Years of WrestleMania Edition and are now being told that to get additional content, they have to purchase these Mattel toys. Personally, I think if you buy the ultimate version of a game, which is at launch, and that includes a season pass, you should get the ultimate version of the game and all the content that comes with it. I don't think that's a controversial opinion. I think that's just how it should be. I don't understand why we are seeing Bad Bunny versions or Post Malone versions of games which the ultimate version's already been released. Even if there's a delay on that content for exclusivity reasons, on the subject of locker codes we have a brand new one for wrestlemania weekend but on the face of it it's not the best in the world however it could end up having some use if they decide to include a live event requiring both gold cody Rhodes and the silver bailey at worst it's free and it might help some people who are new to the game it does make me wonder though with the pre-order bonus offering ruby cards I don't know why 2K released these lower level cards, unless of course there's an ulterior motive where it's going to be used in live events. But now on to other legends, which are going to be dealt with very differently. This trailer dropped 
from Mattel in an Instagram reel, including four WWE and WCW legends. The first is the very iconic image, you may have seen it before, of Hulk Hogan with a guitar jamming to a bunch of fireworks going off in the background. Well, that iconic scene is being reproduced in figure form alongside Big Bubba Rogers, if you don't know who he is. He is what eventually become the big boss man in WWF. And the last two, which some are gonna find very exciting, Three Minutes Warning, also known as Rosie and Jamal. Now, for those of you who have got an extended knowledge of wrestling, thing you'd know that Jamal ended up becoming Umaga in WWE. But Rosie also became the superhero in training with the hurricane. Yes, go back to that. It's the superhero in training. Early 2000s humor, everyone. I bet the person who came up with that one got a big bonus too. Now, why do we think that these are all going to be in my faction? Well, very simply, if you look at the reel again, you'll notice that every character has a 2K24 sticker stating that you get a My Faction locker code in the box. Not like the Hulk Hogan, which is using a receipt, it's inside the box. So likely when you purchase these individual characters, inside there will be a locker code for you to unlock new persona cards that you can then use in My Faction. Now, the details of this aren't finalized yet, but these are dropping in the summer. And it's very, very exciting, not just because that's a big load of extra My Faction characters and persona characters for the game, but also a brand new character that doesn't feature in the season pass. Rosie, some of you may know better as the brother of Roman Reigns, has never been in a mainstay 2K game other than WWE Supercard, where he's been sparingly used for a few years. Now, we know that these are different to the Ichiban Hogan simply because of the redemption method. These also seem to be a target based exclusive, but that's not confirmed 100%. Each one will have a My Faction code inside for a figure. And based on the information we have, it's going to be for those individual figures that you purchase. And in yesterday's 1.05 patch, we had a persona card added in the form of Austin Creed's Zero. The up, up, down, down created rest by Austin Creed, also known as Xavier Woods, was available to unlock by tagging with The Miz in My Rise. All the unlockables that were in My Rise, which I have listed in a special video, I'll link at the end, were non-Persona cards, so they were only able to be used, unfortunately, in my faction. Well, except now Zero is a Persona card, as you can see on screen, meaning he can be used once unlocked in any mode. I can only hope and pray that 2K decide, hey, you know what, let's just unlock all of them because there's some crazy characters in the women's My Rise. Hopefully, this is gonna start turning the cogs in the 2K24 engine to get more content out for people. But if you want to see more content from me, you can go to this video in the top right-hand side. And it details all the My Faction unlockables that you can get right now. Or if you're more of the Supercard type, give this a try instead. This is my most recent WrestleMania 40 video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.